What's up guys? So we're leaving this beautiful campsite on the side of the highway and we're headed to a hot springs. We've been right here for like, I don't know, four days. It's been wonderful. Here's the highway. This is where we have to go. But our view has been epic because basically I've been opening up my back doors and looking at this. Are you ready? <laughs> That's right, talk to her. Give her rubs. <laughs> and spring is here, guys. Oh man, I am having really, really bad allergy issues. Um, but the first things first, we have to get gas. I have to do some field treatment. I'm gonna be doing it with this. Every time that I do a field treatment, I write it down on this little card and where I was. So today I'm in Utah and it is for fuel. This is like my little memory board. Every time I've done a field treatment or I've put anti-gel in or anything like that, my next field change and Jane. <laughs> I cannot remember the last time that I was able to fill up a half a tank of gas with 60 bucks. Utah gas prices, I like you. We are gassed up. I have all the snacks, all the snacks. And then we are ready to go. I can't refill water because there's a guy with like a fifth wheel trailer who is emptying his gray tanks. And this loves just so happens to have air, the dump and water all in one little spot. So kind of difficult. So we're just kind of, we're just gonna go. What can we do? This is the tiny little cute, look at that tiny little post office. Oh my gosh. This is the tiny cute town of Meadow. Look at this place. I don't think anybody lives there, but whoa. You, wow, that's kind of cute actually. Hi guys, look at the babies. Oh my gosh, look at that baby all the way over there. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, okay. Okay, we'll keep going, bye. Yeah, have a great day. There's a ton of people leaving this hot springs right now. Like, I've already been passed by four or five cars, but that's where coming in on a Sunday and staying the week at hot springs and not going on the weekends, that's the key, guys. That's what you have to do. Oh, this guy's gonna dust me out. Hold on. All right, buddy. Be nice. No? Got it. Katie has never been here before. She's actually never been to Utah. <laughs> and every time that I've taken her somewhere, it's always been down like a random long dirt road. And she's like, is every single time, is it gonna be like this? And I'm like, quite possibly. Uh, we are about to go over the last cattle guard and um, to be real, I don't know where we're going to park at. Um, I, I don't think I've ever seen this many people here. So we're going to figure this out. One sec. There's still more people showing up. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to finish watching this, which is the nomadic movement and um, I have some chips and I'm going to probably eat some chips and salsa, kind of wind down from, oh, we have a visitor from driving. Is it snack time? Whoa. It is snack time. I Every kind of, cheese and pita crackers. I kind of parked level, but like, not really. <laughs> are you level? I don't know. Yeah. 
I haven't checked really. We'll see who leaves and see where we can go. <laughs> Other than that, we're, we're just right here. <laughs> It's not very often that I actually spot a similar van as mine. This is the Dodge Freightliner, whereas I am the Dodge Mercedes Sprinter. Same van, two different looks. His is really built out though, man. Like his bed comes down. He has dirt bikes and everything in the back. It's kind of crazy. It's a pretty awesome build. He's a private person though. Hold on. Jake, you? need to be quiet. Sit. He's a pretty private person, but I am going to ask him if I can, like, take a couple clips of his build and how his little bed works. And there's a lot in that van. Like compared to what I have built, that's insane. Talk about carrying tools and everything you need to do everything you could possibly think of. Are you finished? What's up guys and good morning. So we're on our morning walk around the hot springs. Our campsite is right there. Um, I'm gonna go walk to the fish though. And I think this is the pond that nobody's actually parked at. Cause there's some campers out at the second pond and there's none at the main, which is honestly really surprising but I wanna go feed the fish. Every time I come here, I try to bring food for the fish and feed them. This time I have cat food. Last time I had mealworms. So, last time also a girl gave them beef jerky, so I don't think cat food is that bad, honestly. Some of the pieces are a little too big, like that, but they're still going after it. And once it becomes soft, they'll get it. The bigger fish, man, they instantaneously go after it. Look at these guys. Careful, where are you going? Oh, oh. <laughs> Jane, 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 Jane. Oh, what are you trying to do? <laughs> Jane, okay, okay, just come back. Jane, 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 Jane. <laughs> Jane, Jane. Jane, Jane, come back. Please come back. Oh gosh. <laughs> Can't see. <laughs> I know. It's kind of crazy that everybody is staying at that one over there. What's so cool about that one? Um, it kind of has cliffs. Oh. Yeah. It's not as deep. It's like the kiddie pool oh. because you can walk all the way across it. But this is the main pool and look how high it is, guys. This is the cool part about coming back to the hot springs 
every so often is you get to see how much the water has raised and how it's lowered. And this is actually the fullest I've ever seen it in any time that I've ever been here. Like this is a lot, a lot of water. How crazy. Do you see this vehicle right here? That one in the, in the center of the screen. I'll put a circle around it. That's another T1N. It's like the short version of my van. I'm eating my hair. Yeah. Okay. That's so crazy for three T1Ns to be in the same spot. Usually I don't see that unless I'm like closer to Mexico. Because Mexico has all the foreign cars. Like, <laughs> Jane, you're going into another puddle. Jane, Jane, stop trying to walk into puddles. She really wants to eat the fish, dude. She's like, but you mom. Go to that pool? You guys remember that guy I told you? Same van? He's gonna show us how he does his bed. It's coming down! Wow. Huh. Little curtains come down too? <laughs> That's nifty, my friend. That's so cool. That is nifty nifty. Oh, it's like a little camper up top. Oh. So cute. <laughs> That's amazing. Wow. And he has to crawl in. Oh, he's going to demonstrate. <laughs> Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> to think this is the same size van, but here's the kicker. This is the difference. All of that is all bikes and tools. You can smell the oil coming off of the back of this actually. Like We have the same size van. Wow. Wait, what is this? Smoke. What's that? Is that an air conditioner? Yeah, it's a built-in secondary AC. So like when you're driving, you could turn on the back AC. This used to be a, uh, like a van to take people places, like a shuttle van. Shuttle oh. Bus. So it had seats all the way to the back when I got it. Mine was a prison transport. Nice. I didn't have AC. <laughs> there's, there's, there's like, it, there's, what, what is that? Is that a Where? door? Is that a door? Right there? Yeah. It's a table that folds down. So oh. when, so when everything's out, you could actually work out of here. So then this becomes a full-blown workshop. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Wow. Where do you get those cabinets? Uh, they're for, uh, race car trailers. Okay, I'll look that up. It's called Pit Pal. Makes them. Pit Pal. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, yeah, right there. Remember that. Right there. <laughs> I love how he just dropped it right in between the legs. Hi. I made cinnamon rolls for breakfast. We were actually just talking about our door issues and this little lock mechanism. I find it super funny that most Sprinter van owners, especially the models that are between, I think it's like 1998 to 2006, we all have very similar issues when it comes to like our locks, our back doors, um, transmission, EGR, uh, even like radiator things. Like every single one of us have the exact same issues and like what I told, what I told him was, we are like the bastard children of Sprinter vans. We're not true Sprinter vans, for sure, because we have way too many issues. But Sprinter vans also have issues too. I don't think there's a winning argument right now, actually. Dang. Back to the cinnamon rolls, or what are these? Blueberry biscuits. I caught that on camera, by the way. What? Your burp. burp? <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Here, now that we're done pulling apart your van. <laughs> Pull apart a cinnamon roll. <laughs> it's a blueberry biscuit. 